safe. Nope. We're not safe. Never safe. No. Never once. Never once been safe from this curse. No. The curse of Marker. Maybe I should get like a. Hmm? Oh, I'm trying to think of. Uh, I probably need to get like a compass here real quick. Mm, to make yeah. sure I get the, you know, the, at least the basic shape figured out. Yeah, that's true. Oh shit, guys! I'm oh shit, you're live, dude. The live update is live. It's cold out. Fuck. You're right. Cold out. Buzz lit. Shit, it's lit. Yep. I just remember we were talking about this stand yesterday, and we're like, we're like, is it gay if you have all eleven <laughs> of your bros inside of you? <laughs> Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, is it, is it game? Nah. Ash, what's up? Hey, uh. I'm just kicking it with the bros, you know? I'm looking gay about kicking it with the bros, man. No, man, just because they're inside me doesn't mean it's gay. <laughs> Nah, I don't know, man. Oh, yeah, right, Jamie? I saw that, yeah, the 69 followers. Mm-hmm. Nice. But if you're hungry, you should probably eat. We, we just ate a little bit ago. Yeah, I, I ate, like, some leftover hot dogs from last night's barbecue thing. Yeah. But uh, I don't know if that was the best idea. I ate a bunch of spicy chicken nuggets because they were recommended to me. And they are actually pretty good. Now, if they're good for you, probably not. No, they're from McDee's, so... Yeah. I'm going to lean with a hard no. Yeah, but other than that... Hard no. <laughs> oh, the upstairs neighbors are just banging on the ceiling? Oh, that's terrible. I can only imagine what unspeakable acts they're committing. Some dirty deeds. Oof. Reasonable prices. Filthy acts. Reasonable prices. Oh yeah, hit it with a broom? Hell yeah. Go old school on him. What's up, Calvin? That just makes me think of friends. Oh the yeah. Dude that was under them that would always hit. Oh, where's my... There it is. A little stencil? Yeah. Oh, by the way, chat, I bought some new stencils yesterday. Oh, did you? Are they coming in the mail? Again? No, I actually got them there in the garage. Oh. Uh, show me this. Well, it's because I needed to get to work on the food. Um, mm -hmm. so, uh, I got some, um, stencils for painting for whenever I use, uh, spray paint again. Nice. Oh, which will be in the garage from now on because I would get into, I don't want to be in trouble status anymore. More cheating tools, you're right. <laughs> you, you, did, you banged on the ceiling and then the kids started crying? <laughs> Fuck yes. <laughs> Yes. Bad. You felt bad that you felt happy about it. That's hilarious. Oh my I god, that's amazing. This is part of growing up. <laughs> it's just you've leveled up. We're so proud of you. God, it's like I'm a fucking parent. I'm going to send my kid off to college. Just so goddamn proud of you. So goddamn proud. <laughs> no, we always have jokes about enjoying the misery of children. Oh yeah. <laughs> Professor K is my idol. Dude, Professor K from Machine Man. Professor K. The I, armies of the world are not, not my, my enemy. enemy. Children. children are my enemy. Children are his enemy, dude. He has a child allergy. Man, just, look, man, he's got a child allergy. Like, what do you want, man? I start dominance. Hey, look, kid, if you're stomping around on the ceiling of my room, you had to come. Exactly, right? Yeah, that's Let true. these kids know what's good. Let them know. Let them know. No matter how much stomping, they're not getting a trophy or any gold stars. They're getting the broom. Hey! What the fuck you doing? Hey! Quit stomping! Just go up to their face, rip a piece of paper in half, and just tell them you'll kill them. 
<laughs> Gund- Gundam Wing style. Oh yeah, yeah. Is that it? Yeah, actually, this song, that song was on earlier. The opening to it. I was, <laughs> that's why I'm thinking about it. Oh, it was at night. Yeah, definitely. They don't need to be doing that. Oh, you live on the top floor. What's up? Uh, I'm gonna go with awesome. What's up, awesome? Y'all are the guys who um, emailed us about the interview, right? This is the crew. I guess we have to be on nice, our best. Nice, nice, nice. Now we have to be on our best behavior chat. Oh, right, I know, right? <laughs> Hope I don't fuck anything up. Oh, shit. Right. I told my downstairs neighbors that I'm being too loud to let you know. Okay. Oh, we don't have to be on our best behavior. All right, well, then fuck all that. <laughs> <laughs> Bag of chips. Yeah, all right. We're drawing some mystical um, shit tonight. Yeah. This is, not, this is uh, original stuff tonight. Oh no, Tony sent us a text saying there's an ultimate nightmare reveal. Oh no. What are we revealing? Is it the gender? <laughs> yeah, it is a gender reveal thing. Oh, of course. Oh, Yarnum reveals the gender? Oh my god. <laughs> if you like... <laughs> that's funny. It's, it's a baby the, squid. It's, <laughs> that's hilarious. Oh, it's when the, um... God, what is that place? When the hunter's dream is on fire. Yeah, yeah. That's so funny. Oh man, that's great. Oh my god. Tony coming in clutch. <laughs> Fuck is no longer a word, it's a comma, Lewis Black. That's so true. <laughs> Man, I haven't heard that bit in a while. Oh my god. I love I love the candy corn one especially. My personal favorite's the Starbucks yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, the two Starbucks. If you look at your watch, time, time stands, stands still. still. <laughs> now, the only way this joke could work is with people with Alzheimer's. Yeah. My friends, do my eyes deceive me? I believe that yeah. is a Starbucks. Come out of the Starbucks and be like, yo, is that a Starbucks? Let's get some concrete. <laughs> I think it's time we all had a cup of joe. Right. You gotta be with the hand motion. And oh, the yeah. Too, I yeah. love his crazy hand motions. I love the one he, like, points with two fingers real quick. They wash it. They wash it. They wash it. Yeah. I actually got to see him live um, last... Uh, was it last year? Or, uh, no, it was 2018. It was a while ago. Yeah, it was a while ago. I already mentioned it. Because yeah, we, 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 it was back when we were still in the, uh, the townhome. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Dad took me to a live show. You live above the garage, so you don't need to worry too much. Yeah. So, although that's... Yeah. If, if you're above, you know, no one or whatever, you got that stomping advantage. Oh, yeah. We stomp around this house all the time. Please don't. I'm just stomping on a daily. Why? You gotta get my stomp practice in, man. Come on. I didn't know you were part of a stomp. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Bro, stomp the yard? Classic. It's a classic of American cinema. <laughs> Come on. Oh, that reminds me. Um, Ash, have, did you watch the latest episode of Saber? I wanted to know your opinion on it. Because I think it's like getting better. It's just like still slower and I'm still like going off of uh, Zero One being just, you know, amazing. Yeah. Because I like, there's a lot of cool stuff and then there's a lot of funky CG that I'm like, eh. And then we haven't really got much to the character development, kind of. So. Yeah, uh, it's kind of weird because, like, the character um, of the main main guy, whose name escapes me. Um, yeah, it went by like, really fast. That was such a, a fast episode. Yeah, it definitely felt mm-hmm. like there was, like, not a lot going on, but it felt like a lot happened. In the yeah, she name. said she thought that was a good episode because it, like, went by real quick. and But it was, but you know, you're not, like, struggling to get through it. Yeah, not super hooked. That's the thing. Is like it's not an instant hook. I, I haven't gotten that feeling yet. I feel like I need like I'm gonna need like a really good backstory episode or something. Yeah, that's like, what I I'm need at. Blue's backstory. Yeah, we need that guy's backstory, and then we'll be in. I, I do hope he never gets to eat any delicious sweets, though. That's yeah. what we were saying. We're like we just want him to get dumpstered on all series. <laughs> I'm the serious character. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that looks like comic relief I've ever seen. Yeah, always. Yeah, exactly. Warming up to the opening. Yeah, no, the ending is the better song, I think. They're both really good songs, though. Yeah, it, I do like that it's by the same band. Yeah. So that, like, adds, you know, it's a good bookend. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, right? Though, it's just funny. The reason why I'm having a hard time getting into it is because I think the overall theme of Saber is just, you know, hey, guys, books are cool. Whereas the themes for Zero One were, what does it mean to be human? Yeah, <laughs> yes. it, goes, it goes from, like, such an existential subject to, like, 
but reading though hey guys yeah 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 that's where i'm at with it like i'm just like uh you know read it. yeah i work in a library so books are cool and all and i do like the fact that he's kind of a derp in the sense of the fact that he's like interested in you know telling kids how to read and things like that mm. and uh all that good stuff but uh, i just think it's very bizarre like his character is not really fleshed out yet I feel like there's a good... This feels like one of those ones where, like, when they're done introducing enough characters, it's going to take a, like, intense turn. Yeah, I can, I can see that. Maybe? That's, that's kind of what I'm doing. Oh, your Izu boots came in? Oh, Fuck hell yeah. yeah. Oh, Jamie says she likes the composition. Thank you. Yeah, I'm trying to... Uh, uh, what's the word? Um, incorporate more shapes, shape dynamics, in uh, composition. Uh, so, like, case in point, this one is kind of got, like, they're on this, like, kind of, like, ink lake, and the ink is going to be coming out of the, this little vat here, and start turning into the tattoos as they get put onto the back of this character here. Mm-hmm. Which reminds me, where's that hair at? Where's those luscious locks at? <laughs> yeah, there you are. Yeah. So, Chad, I'm also cheating because I'm using reference, obviously. He's doing it. Yes, and we are using the sacred geometry because we're fans of JoJo. Yes, that that too. <laughs> uh, I mean, Renaissance paintings are good for a reason, so mm -hmm. it's interesting. Yeah, right? It's a cool idea. We thought of, like, a we wanted a magic tattoo artist, and then we've been kind of, like, going around with different ideas and stuff. Yeah, I was, like, kind of going through a lot of different pieces and thinking of, like, how I wanted this to look. Um, mm -hmm. Also, um, what would it be like here? Where are they from? We, we, yeah, things like that. Because um, uh, part of me also is interested in um, kind of like some like the fact that a lot of the stuff that's in these pictures isn't like you know actually there. Sometimes, sometimes it's just you know much more uh, like conceptual, conceptual kind of rather than yeah. Yeah. or it's like. Not in, it's even within the fictional, it's not even within the fictional reality almost, yeah. you know, it's in like, it's kind of like an alternate world or something. Yeah, where the characters are like, this is definitely something that they've seen or someone painted this scene. Yeah. Things like that. So, since this book in, seems to have a lot of different, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, you know, like, te uh, understandings or mythos and, uh, you know how the world is perceived by these characters and things like that since there's a lot but of Jamie says you, she wants you to text that picture to her later this picture the the, the reference one just she says text the reference later for reasons quote unquote yeah 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 i'm on it <laughs> well you can do it later no i can just do it right now so okay. she's like at the top of the list actually it's funny i think i, oh, okay. I think this thing's like like what is the word i'm looking for uh, sped up and showed you his true power yeah i don't is the stream lagging or what i don't know sometimes it'll be a little laggy yeah, it kind of just depends on the day. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Because I've definitely seen it do that, where it'll like kind of hiccup, and then it goes like boom, and speeds up. Yeah, no reference is good. We just always joke because we've met or like we've been in conversations where there are artists who are like, I don't use reference, or reference is cheating, or yeah. things like that, and it's just like, what, bro, what? Yeah. Like, are you okay? Who hurt you? Yeah, exactly. Who hurt you? That's what it really is. Like, who hurt you? Who hurt you? What megalomaniacal middle school art teacher hurt you? I don't even know if it's a middle school art teacher. Like, I can't imagine. I don't teacher. even know. You know what I mean? It's yeah. gonna be like something. I don't even know who hurt you that bad. Like, that's like, weird. Yeah, I can't even imagine a teacher. Yeah, that's true. That. Yeah, a teacher probably wouldn't say that. I don't know who. Probably who's Tumblr. Must have been. I, I don't know. Like I, I've actually, that's a good question that you bring up. I don't know where the origin of that is from because I don't think any of my teachers yeah. brought that up. But I feel like it was some sort of unwritten rule that if you used reference, it was cheating. Yeah, exactly, right? It's like, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, what's wrong with them? I don't know. Maybe it's just because people thought that you had to, like, have a really strong imagination or else you weren't creative enough. It's, James says, is it middle school art teachers or middle schoolers on Tumblr? And I'm like, yeah, it probably definitely is something with Tumblr. Has to be, obviously. Uh, has to be, yeah. Most of the world's problems come from Tumblr. Exactly. 
technically Tumblr is like the last source because I think everything originates on 4chan, then gets to Reddit, then gets to just Twitter. depends on what it is, right? So because <laughs> I just the was, internet ecosystem is strange. Yeah, it is. I just know that uh, the top of the food chain of anything horrible is usually 4chan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's pretty much how a lot of stuff starts. It's funny, especially actually, back in the day. It's funny. One of my coworkers was talking. I mean, that's about, where memes are from. Uh, was talking about how the, they always try to make sure that they're doing uh, getting good solid reviews on uh, Yelp, mm-hmm. and I said, including uh, people I know, like Matt over here. I was like, please, you have to go to 4chan to get my Yelp review, and it's not a good review. An internet thing. I saw it as early as Deviant Art. Davinci said it in the Renaissance. <laughs> what is this? Davinci. <laughs> this is from some weird video or something. That's funny. Oh, okay. Who painted the Mona Lisa? Da Vinci. That's funny. Someone says Da Vinci when they try to read his name. That's funny. Uh, what do we got here? Okay. On the flip side of that, all the internet photographers who are like, you have to know composition rules in order to break them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But that's true, though. You do need to understand composition rules. I, I, I 100% agree on know, needing to know composition rules. Reminds me of someone I saw in a YouTube comment who said using reference was the equivalent of tracing. Yeah, exactly. Like, what the... What? Now, also... People are insane. Yeah, tracing also is not cheating. Like, technically, I mean, if you're tracing over someone else's work, then yes, that's wrong. Yeah. But, like, I trace all the time. Yeah. Like, I don't ink over... Like, when I'm inking, that's technically tracing. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I gotta make a plan first, and then, you know, you make your final... Like, mm-hmm. everyone traces, like... That's how I started drawing too. I was yeah. I would trace pictures of Pokemon, mm-hmm. and and when you, I was tracing, it helps me figure out what the form was. I don't know to tell you, chat. People are weird, right? Yeah, Setsuko definitely. They, they got the same opinion. Just don't get it. Yeah, I just don't know where it came from. Yeah, now if you're tracing and passing off your own stuff, yeah, that's definitely a problem. Yeah, that's definitely the wrong one. What if they use ray tracing? Well, then they're definitely cheating. <laughs> they're doing what now? <laughs> ray tracing, that's like a computer thing. Oh, it's okay. Like an thing. Then, yeah. Using a computer, obviously cheating too. That was another stigma yeah. too for a long while, is if you couldn't do it traditionally, it was cheating. And I believed in that stigma uh, for a long while. That's why most of my, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm fine with what, how I make art and um, all that stuff now. But I, I thought I had to do it um, traditionally or else I wasn't a real artist. Mm. Jamie says, tracing helps me break down and simplify complicated designs like Halo armor or next stuff. Yeah, exactly. I-Ray, V-Ray, Cycles, Eevee? Mm, I don't know. That joke's going over my head. Is that for the ray tracing stuff? <laughs> that joke's going over my head. I didn't use my skills. Yeah, ray tracing stuff. Okay, yeah. Like I said, I don't know much about that. I'll, I only hear it like when people talk about it in games and stuff. For evil or for kinks. <laughs> there is no difference with Jamie. Yeah. It's rendering for CGI stuff. Okay, yeah, yeah. I know it was something with like games usually or whatever, is so I hear it a lot, but I guess if it works for anything. Okay. Like, case in point, I'm having trouble with this back, so I need to look up a uh, reference for backs. Mm-hmm. If the back game isn't on point... Then what was even the point of fucking drawing Exactly. It? There was no point in even making this, this whole picture. God. That was it. Disgusting. It's true. <laughs> yeah, evil and kinks and evil kinks. Uh, aren't all kinks evil? I don't know, maybe. At least my kinks are. The games look 1% better, so it's worth it. Hey, man. (laughs) Yeah, I don't know what that actually does. Like, what what does the ray tracing actually do? Is hand holding an evil kink? Uh, yes. It is the most (laughs) evil of kinks. It's high-tier evil. That is some evil shit. Exactly. Only degenerates like me are into that. It's true. Boy, do I love me a hand. What? I mean, holding it. Just the hand. I mean, wait. Fuck. Yeah, it's not weird if you have just a hand, you know, like Kira or something. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. That's not weird. That's, that's not, fine. That's not fine. I didn't wait. Yeah, that's totally fine. Never wanted to hold a hand so badly. Okay, yeah, it's for stuff with light and reflections. Okay, yeah, I did see some. someone mentioned it was reflections one time. Okay. I 
Rendering technique generally leading an image by tracing the paths of light as pixels in an image plane and simulating the effects that it's encounter on virtual objects. Oh, okay, interesting. That's kind of cool. Hmm. We'll check more on that later. Hmm. I'll read that later. Uh, okay, Ash. So, fun fact, and I'm sure it was really obvious, but I traced all the doodles on my Kaguya cosplay background edit to match the manga color art. I'm so bad at drawing, I have to trace simple heart and star duels. No, that's fine. Look, man, do you want to see how I draw a star, like, without, like, you know, like, like, doing it? Look at that, that's fucking terrible. And then this is a heart. Like, they're not, it's fine, you can trace. And, like, there's this art, there's a lot of famous artists that I think have really crazy complicated backgrounds, and I'm like, well, how did they get that symmetry so nice? It's because they fucking cheated. They, yeah, yeah, they, yeah, yeah. they just drew the one half, scanned it in, flipped it, and then, you know, put it's it together. Perfect, yeah. I was You've like, done that before, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've works. done that before multiple times, yeah. It works. Yeah. Yeah, no, you... And anyway, if you're trying to replicate that manga picture, you should, you know, use as much reference and whatever methods possible. You know, again, like, you don't have to be good at drawing. You're amazing at doing cosplays. Yeah. No one needs to be good at doing every single thing in the world. Yeah, that's a weird stigma. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, the internet is weird. Yeah, the internet's like, you have to be perfect at the first you have, try. You have to be amazing at everything in the world on the first try, and you're either Hitler or not. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Those are your only options on the internet. It's tragic, isn't it? Yeah. It comes from social media, because people don't generally post mistakes. So uh, people start to believe that like everyone out there is perfect, because they only see like the exact uh, tip of the iceberg. Yeah. That's what people who study like what are called peak performers talk about, is like the, ice the tip of the iceberg and stuff. Yeah. But normally that's like celebrities or athletes or things like that, or like, I would tell people that when they look at your art, you know, they think yeah. you just draw it in like one go, you know? Yeah. Things like that. So that applies also on like social media when you're like, this person is always perfect, you know, or whatever, or on Pinterest or something. Oh, yeah. they're always got the exact thing, you know. You don't see every time they tried and fucked up. Yeah. You only see every time it was perfect. Yeah, so, so when you don't get it perfect, you start to feel bad. That's one of the things why I'm, like, I always kind of, like, don't like doing pencil on stream, but I think it's important for y'all to see how much I have to go back over and over again before I get it, like, you know, looking just right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, social media is bullshit. Yeah, exactly. Oh, you do post the mistake? Yeah, see, that's what you want. You gotta post the mistakes and be like, here's how you get it better. Yeah, not a lot of people do the that. The internet has surpassed delusion and my own insanity. This is why I try to limit my research because I'm always encounter because I always encounter uh, opinions about how things should be done. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's like, it's weird. Like the, with art, the way like saying the way things should be done, quote unquote, doesn't actually like work. There, there's like here's a tip on how to do this in effective way. Kinda. If you, yeah, it depends on the thing, obviously. But yeah, I know a lot of people. They would talk about that on other things for tutorials. Is like, look, this is the way I do things. You don't have to do it the same way, but I found this is very effective for me. And here, I'm going to show you how to do it the way I know how to do it. That kind of thing. And I think tutorials like that can be more effective for subjective stuff. Now, obviously, like, you're going to fix a toilet, you know? Yeah. Or, like, we need to fix the carburetor. <laughs> that kind of thing. Objective, yeah, that you want exact. So, but for subjective things... I don't know. know. It's, um, some of the things are tough, though. Uh, so I can talk a little bit about, like, you know, my personal experience uh, with critiquing, uh, you know, mm -hmm. uh, my fellow uh, classmates back in college. One of the things that was kind of like, you know, problematic was is that you didn't want to hurt anyone's feelings. But at the same time, there was a lot of people who just kind of refused to learn. Oh, yeah. That's um, so you need to understand that there is a fine line between it's your style and, you know, it's just wrong. Like, yeah, you need to go get reference or it's um, or if you're just actively trying not to do it right. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, that's the other side of that. Like where it's like. It's like those people who are like, well, I don't need reference. And you're like, well, that's it, totally incorrect. Or they'll get mad if you use a ruler. You should be able to do straight lines without a ruler. Mm. I'm like, sure, man. Yeah, what do we got? Live in your uh, weird fantasy world. Right. 
One great thing from when we've done our photo demos, we shoot off the, we show off the initial photos live, and people will discuss right then and there uh, how to work through things. Okay, yeah, that sounds like a good one. I'll oh, see. Tips are great, but when people downright shoot down everything else, it's so limited. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's what we were just saying right there. Yeah. yeah now I don't mind shooting down thing, uh, and there's a lot of okay. So that that actually that subject is also kind of touchy um, mm -hmm. on shooting down ideas. Because you don't want to stifle anyone's creativity. No one ever wants to do that. But there are parts of the art process uh, that you should just, you know, come to the point and realize something is not working. Mm -hmm. And you're just like, okay, this isn't working, but why is it not working? And then you have to, then you kind of go back through the entire process and kind of realize that maybe there's just something that I don't really understand how to do just yet. Like, I don't know, like uh, part of the uh, art process is that growth. And trying to figure out what it is that is and isn't working. Or, like, I know, like, I, I don't like talking about, like, social media because getting clicks and likes and things like that, I don't know if that usually is something you should ever equate to being good at art. In fact, I, I'd probably advise against it. Um, but the, like, if you post something and it's not getting the uh, reception you want it to, you sometimes might have to go back and say, well, what did I do wrong? Yeah. Um, you have to go back to the very beginning and go like, well, what went wrong at the very beginning? If you ever want to get better at something, that's just the same with anything. Like I usually, that's how I try to get better at like games, things like that is, well, I messed up in a, this, this game particularly. What, what I can either just, you know, say my opponent was lucky and then that they set luck sacked me or I can, you know, do some critical thinking and think, oh, well, actually uh, it seems that, yeah, this turn I made a mistake here and I should have done this line instead. It's the same with art. Like, oh, I'm, you can just blame it on bad luck, but at the same time, at the end of the day, you're just like, well, maybe if I practice on something that would, uh, I'm really struggling with to make myself better as an artist, then I can actually get better. That's that's where you, the the blur the lines get blurred a lot. It's because people start thinking, well, it's my style to be you know like this. Yeah. And then you start getting into a, a mindset of I need to I I have to continue with this style, but the style isn't working for me as a voice or a medium. So it's good to experiment and figure out well what is that? What is is you say it's your style? Well, what does that mean? Like what is your mm. voice? Like. And if that's your thing, you know, try to make it the best you can. Like the guy that we met that was like doing art from gunpowder. Yeah, that was cool. I that's cool. what that guy's up to. That's a cool idea. But at the same time, it's like if the art's like not selling or anything like that, he has to say, well, is the is it because it's made of gunpowder that it's no selling? Probably mm -hmm. not. You probably have to say, well, maybe it's the subject matter that I'm doing. And then has to go back and figure out how to make the subject matter that he's drawing more interesting and more appealing to the audience. Definitely. So things like that. Alright, what do we got here? Uh, so let's go... Uh, is it lagging, anybody? Does it look like it's lagging on my screen? Um, let's see. Like, the difference between plagiarizing and actually writing your own damn thing... Oh, hold on. Uh, let me see. Hold on. Uh, gotta make up your own thing, people will catch on, and gotta learn how to do things vastly, or try new ways to do things, because sometimes things just don't work when you first set out to do them. Yeah, definitely. Uh, backwards engineering the thought process helps a ton definitely yeah that's yeah i was like people are kind of like spitting out the same stuff we're spitting out it's yeah. like sometimes i find the reason i don't improve is because you're not studying a completely different subject that's true yeah i know you always talk about that with anatomy yes like that people should study anatomy when they're doing art yeah anatomy is like the most important yeah. thing in my uh, opinion social media is not a good metric for determining learning opportunities i would agree unless you want to learn how to get likes in which case you can do that, but it's kind of annoying. Yeah. Uh, let's see. True. That's why learning things is helpful. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Ash. I've heard that in order to break the rules of anatomy with your style, you have to know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's all yeah, about. Yeah, that's definitely true. Because you need to know how actual, like, if you're doing, you know, how humans work, and then if you're doing like weird, like a cartoon, like how human animal, like kind of hybrid, humanized, uh, what is it, anthropomorphic characters. Yeah. You also need to know how the animals work. Yeah. And then you also need to understand, like, too, is like... Um... How is the title of the stream not Earth, Wind, and Fire? Oh, is it Earth, Wind, and Fire Day? I didn't even realize that. Oh, oh it is that 21st changed. night of September! Immediately changed. Bro, I didn't remember! Immediately changed. Let Wes, you know what this means, right? Could be anything. We gotta sing. Oh, shit, you're right. 
You're right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna put that in the. Uh, I'm just gonna put Earth into fire. I'm just gonna change that to the thing. <laughs> yeah, let him finish his thing, and then we'll get to the singing. I think last year it was on a Tuesday. I don't remember. Yeah, dude, I can't believe that. I didn't even know. Because I remember last year I was saying it's it everybody. Draw a butt. There is a butt in this picture. Yes, there is a butt. Because we got some tattoos. Right. But do you remember, remember. that 21st night, September? Love was chasing it all out away. Dude, I can't believe that the fucking Bradio. Oh yeah, dude, when Bradio played that, yeah, it was amazing. That was awesome. It was like roll your hands together, like, like disco, disco ball. ball. Dude, John coming in. You're right. You're right. It was John who said that. I didn't. Even, I was so shocked that I didn't even see you said it. The legend himself. Legendary Nickelback historian. <laughs> exactly. Resident Nickelback historian John Bagsky, the man, the myth, the legend. I gotta go listen to that uh, one cover of it that's used in that JoJo video. Yeah. Yeah, where is it? I really like this version of it. I'm gonna find that version. Yeah, they like put it over this manga commercial for it, and it's, it's really good. Oh yeah, with the from Macross Delta where the girl's singing it, right? Yeah, it just goes like perfect with this JoJo commercial. Yeah, I keep seeing, I've been seeing that Macross one pop up on Twitter like all month. Oh, yeah. That's not what I want. Right. Can we work on like the top part mostly? Uh, yeah, the top part, yeah. Yeah, some of the camera or something. There we go. <laughs> I did not remember that it was the 21st night of September. John was coming in like a boss. John always just single-handedly sometimes saving the stream. Honestly, finger on the pulse of, you know, the customer. <laughs> No, the customer. Oh, the customer. You're right. He was, he's been known to love the customer. No, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I did not love the customer. You did, I not. did not. I did not. I, I did not love the customer. You explicitly did not. I explicitly did not. I just didn't know her like that, you know. It doesn't matter, man. You're right. You're right. I'm sorry. Okay. I've, I've failed customer service. Utterly disgusting. The camera I'm using? That's actually my phone. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's actually my phone. Because we could not find a webcam. Because at the beginning of the pandemic, they all got bought out. And then, like, the prices were hiked, like, 20 times up. Like, $50 webcams were going for, like, $300. 
and shit like that. Just because there were none anywhere. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's my problem. This is like a Samsung... Uh, oh, shit. I don't even know what this thing is called. It's it's some Samsung phone. It's like a weird phone. It's a, it's meant for like... It's kind of like a tough book version of a phone. It has like its own case built on, kind of. Yeah, it says cat on it. I forgot what its actual like number serial thing it's is. It's like a caterpillar thing, right? Yeah, it's it's like for caterpillar or whatever, something like that. Because this is kind of like a tough book phone. It basically has a case built onto it. Nice. So, right. and it's good because it has a lip too around the side. So if you drop it straight on, unless there's like giant rocks on the ground, <laughs> the screen. I've dropped it and like the screen has not gotten anything on it. The rubber, or the case part, the hard plastic and like rubbery case kind of gets messed up. But other than that, yeah. that's what I get for drinking tea. Right? I'm like a child. <laughs> you should have just been doing cocaine, man. I know. Should have, could have, would have, but, mm -hmm. but I didn't. Oh shit, Pablo, what up? How you been, man? You taking well? Alright. Oh, the webcam prices are coming back down? That's good. It's definitely frustrating to deal with, let me tell you. Yeah, you'd be surprised how good the cameras are on phones nowadays. That's true, I think my phone actually would probably make a good camera for streaming. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice, glad to hear you're good. Glad to hear it, yeah. Got a lot going on. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I got a little distracted here. I was gonna say, what are you looking for through there? Ah, uh, just a place to put it at. Mm -hmm. uh, my, my bookmark, I need to put a place to put it at. Oh, whoa, 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 first you go back to something? Yeah. I got you. I was like, kind of like going back to get some of this stuff, and then I realized, um... Oh, you got your tablet? Nice! 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 Uh, I'm just... Oh, you had to pick up a webcam for uh, somebody on the stream? Fuji X-T2, I'm gonna copy that. Oh, is that the name of the camera? It, said, it says, as my quote webcam, so it was like... Mm -hmm. So chat, actually, I don't know if you guys are aware, but if oh, okay, it's one of the, oh, it's a nice camera. Yeah, you can. Yeah, I don't have a camera like this. So when I bought a camera, um, I bought a camera, the one I film our nicer videos with. I got a um, God, what is this? A PowerShot uh, G7X. Uh, this is a Mark II. I got it because we were gonna do like more vlogging. Um. This was before we had a stream. Yeah. <laughs> so, and you can't use it as a webcam, unfortunately. Though, chat, if you want a free commission, all you have to do is buy me a webcam. Right, obviously. Yes, if you buy us a $100 or more webcam, you will receive a commission. Yeah. Not of equal value. <laughs> well, duh, jo <laughs> the, the art will be worth much more. You're right, you're right. You're, it's a small investment now for a million dollar piece later. Yeah, come on, guys. <laughs> Think. As long as you get a commission of something that's not, you know, anime related, then it'll probably be worth a lot. <laughs> Come on, chat. Think. Think with your dipstick. Yeah. Yeah, this is one of these nice, yeah, mirrorless ones. Yeah, you can um, use those as webcams from what I heard. Yeah, this is a nice camera. Ooh, you got a good one. Oh, that's because you're the uh, photographer, right? So that makes sense. Yeah, you were really close at the beginning, yeah. Hmm? Like the sixth, yeah, he says like the sixth follower. I know it was something like that, Pablo, it was close. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if I was getting anything, like uh, another camera for this stream, what I would do is just get like a GoPro or something, or something kind of, I don't know. I just, I want a webcam to hang from the ceiling, <laughs> and then we could line it up. We would put it where the space cam is, you know? I mean, it's a tragedy not to get to see his face anymore. Um, but that's, you know, then you Price can see, day. like, the whole picture probably, you know, from the air kind of, that kind of thing. And then we just zoom in on little parts of it. Because I do like how digital streamers can do that, where they have the one window for the whole picture. Yeah. And then they're zoomed in on it where they're drawing. So. You love your camera? That's good. I had an uncle who was a photographer. That guy was cool. Yeah. Uh, at least well, the photos. Never met him. No, I yeah. mean, that did everything I've heard about him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, sky cam, exactly. I know Ellen has a really nice OG, old definitely, camera. Yeah. Let me go. Yeah, I think you were like the first person who wasn't someone we knew in real life. I think, right? Uh, yeah. I think he was the first person who we who wasn't a someone we knew in real life. Yeah, sounds about right. Yeah, so that was pretty cool. All right, before we get to inking, we're gonna take five. Oh, you're gonna take a break? Yeah, I gotta wash my hands. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, whenever I do watercolor stuff like that, I want to make sure I don't get any on the paper. That's right. Uh, so we'll uh, be right back, chat. Okay. And now the news. Don't touch that dial. Yeah, right. Uh, GoPro 9 looks good. Okay, let me bring that up in a window real quick so I can look. Yeah, I just want something that I can like plug in or whatever. Ew. GoPro 9. Yeah. Watch out. What are you doing? Getting up. To look at chat. You better not look at chat. I'm gonna read. This is gonna get fucking cane. I'm reading chat, chat. You better not be reading chat. I'm reading it. I swear to fucking God. Where the fucking god I will end him. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna leave this up and I'll think about trying to pick one up. No, oh, don't worry, he has a cane incoming. <laughs> I'm gonna line this shot back up. I'll probably go to the break screen. All right, we'll be back in a second. I'm gonna leave it on the BRB real quick. I come back and I just see Ash's comment. It says, my dumb ass was listening to the Go Kaiju theme thinking, why does this Mega Man song sound so familiar? Because <laughs> it's in the... Because <laughs> yeah, it's in the just, bit yeah. Yeah, I, when we were setting up this screen, when I was working on it, I was like, uh, we need a BRB screen. What are we going to put there? And uh, I wanted to put the art, the speed art, yeah. but I was like, I'm going to need some music to go to that. So I just found someone's page that was like all these cool 8-bit versions of anime and toku songs and stuff so i was like yeah i'm just gonna steal this and if i edit it out on youtube no one will know because on twitch everyone actually steals music anyway yeah <laughs> that's why their vods don't stay nope. <laughs> things like that or they'll be muted in the vods and stuff like that You can play P5R? Nice. Same, after this, actually. Oh, are you? Sweet. I want to, at least. I'm going to zoom in on this face while you're drawing it. And then I'm going to move this up just a little bit. Center screen. There we go. Immediately moves it. I love it. I'm going to move my hand. Calm down. So let me get back to my reference. Yeah, a lot of chiptune stuff, yeah. It's just easier, like, I don't know, I just like it anyway. Because it's kind of that you're listening to it and you're like, oh, what is, I know this, you know? Like, everyone's yeah. doing it's like, oh, I know this. So. Oh, the stream cleared music? Yeah, yeah, like copyright free or whatever. I've tried to use that on some YouTube videos and they still got flagged, so I was like, yeah, fuck it. I don't put the, I, on, um, when we do videos on YouTube, like I cut those out if they're in the stream and then for the speed art that we do, we just record commentary over it. So we don't need any music for it. Yeah. Makes it way easier. Probably could use like maybe some background music or something. I don't know, but eh, I'm kind of lazy. I don't want to go find any. <laughs> Uh, okay, yeah, same thing. Yeah, there's sometimes if we get done, uh, if we're set up early, we have some pre-show music too that we'll put. And it's just the same music. I just go, again, I just go in just like you said and just chop it off before you put it on YouTube. But yeah, it's annoying because it'll be like copyright free. Just put this in the description. It still gets flagged. It's so annoying. Oh, yeah. That's why whenever a song goes up on YouTube, it's best to just immediately download it. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
song got tagged by a group that does church music wow yeah i know a bunch of the like there's i've heard there's so many issues with stuff like that on on youtube right now with like everything getting like copyright strikes against it left and right and stuff i know there's like a lot of censorship issues too yeah where there's just like tons of words you can't say because the um what is it the monetization thing like whatever the bot is that determines if your video could be monetized or not doesn't it can't examine them contextually so if you use them at all your video gets demonetized so there's like a lot of mental health issues and other things that can't be discussed and monetized yeah weird weird stuff yeah things like that not a fan yeah it's kind of annoying Yeah, censorship like that is just terrible because it doesn't lead to anything, like, constructive. Yeah, not really at all. Yeah, it just does nothing except put the issue into the shadows again or whatever, you know. It make, just makes things worse. Either people who, like I said, if it's contextual, you're like, if you need, if you're looking for something, like advice on something, you know, you can't go find it anywhere. Yeah. Because it's not, because it's not profitable for people to make advice on that. Yeah. So... Go to the tip jar? I haven't heard of tip jar. Is that another, like, uh, coffee kind of thing? I'm going to Google that real quick. Go for it. I'm going to be here doing art. Tip jar. Oh, it's something you came up with. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm thinking of the website, like, Coffee, uh, which is spelled K-O-F-I. Oh, okay, it's just a normal, like, PayPal donation. Okay, I got you. Yeah, there are some websites that are, like, just, just like that, like, co like uh, Coffee, or I guess Kofi. I don't know how people say it. I've heard people say Coffee or Kofi. I don't know. Kofi, That actually. was, like, when you, yeah, when you... Yeah, like for high fi and low fi, yeah, yeah, because yeah. it's spelled that way. Yeah, I just like saying coffee because that's what it's supposed to be because it has like a coffee cup. In yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what they're going for. Yeah, yeah, it's coffee, right? Yeah, you'd be surprised though. You hear enough people say something weird on the internet, you think you might be the one in the wrong. It's true. It's so. <laughs> I love hearing like weird mispronunciations I've never heard before. Sometimes though, folders like, like we're watching um. Oh, I mean, we were watching this Let's Play earlier of, like, a horror game or something. Yeah, yeah. And it said, the text on the screen was, like, the bureau is empty or whatever. And someone said, oh, what did they, how did they mispronounce it? It was, like, the, the Borah or something. I can't even remember how they said it. It, it was instead of the bureau or whatever, you know, like a chest drawer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. They were, like, the bureau. <laughs> I was, like, what? <laughs> the bureau? <laughs> What yeah. was that? Hold on, rewind that. You know, the Barreau, like the museum. Barreau, yeah. That's Me the weirdest way to say that. I was like, what? I don't think that's how... You... That's not how you say it in English normally. <laughs> no, no, that's how you say it. Is that the super official French pronunciation? Yeah. Yeah, Ross Barreau, right? Yeah, Burro. Yeah, it was weird how they said it. Burro, you know. Burro. I was like, what? It's the Burro Radley. Yeah. I'm like, okay. I, I try not to like dig at people too much i'm not digging them for the pronunciation i'm just like okay you know because like english is tough especially since that's also not an english origin word i'm guessing because of the way the vowels are constructed at the end that's true so that's the other part of what makes english hard nothing it makes sense yeah just out of curiosity how do you pronounce copic like the marker i've heard people say it different ways i say copic do you really yeah shut up no you don't yeah copic or copic i usually say copic but or or the one time i heard bouquet oh as boke oh like woke bouquet like a bouquet of flowers <laughs> covid or covid I don't know, we, I usually say Copic for markers. Yeah, I usually just say Copics or, um, these are my markers. Yeah, yeah, I was like, I've never heard you say Copic, shut up. I knew you were fucking lying over here. These are my alcohol-based markers. I remember that time, we should have come back up in that elevator. We were in an elevator at a con, and, like, 
he's got his giant thing of markers because we were going up to back to the room and he's going to do a commission and like the elevator is going up and the it opens and the people there are going down though and we're like like you want to hop in they're like nah it's cool and then right when the doors go to close the girl on the other side is just like are those copics <laughs> and it was like i told her i told him we should have rode the elevator up and then come back down just so we could open the door and just be like yes they are <laughs> Like, just to get him, you know? You pronounce it like, uh, Copic as well? What's up, Ellen? Did you need the account for oh, the internet? Okay, give me one sec. Not the internet, just your, your code. You're apparently at the very bottom after the seven day trial. It's like, if you have one, put the code here. Oh, shit. Uh, give me one sec. So if you have your online membership. We're using hacks. Don't be criminals like us. Pay for your own memberships, people. Do it. Support your local membership. Well, that's paying. I'm not. Just a little bit. Mm. Exactly. Hacks. Just like that. Oh my god. This reminds me of when Tony thought Hacksores was pronounced Hazors. That's right. I do remember that. Yeah. <laughs> Has ors. <laughs> because there's a Yu-Gi-Oh card that has it on there. <laughs> he's like, uh, he was like, it's pronounced Hazor, and we're just like, excuse me. <laughs> Ellen is here to collect her payment. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and Matt keeps his kneecaps. Yeah, exactly. I do get to keep my kneecaps. It's great. Yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah, some old school lead speak. Yeah. Should I bring my Nintendo Switch in here? Um, I'm just trying to figure out my account. Make sure to put it live on stream so everyone can hack you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, I'm just typing it into the... We apologize for the delays. Sorry, This guys. is why you don't mix business and pleasure. You don't. I'm sorry. Love has no part in art. It's all good, guys. Everyone <laughs> calm down. I love you all equally, but not as much as Ellen. Jamie has this muted, so she probably doesn't know that you're here. Oh, okay. That makes sense. I'm getting it. <laughs> Ellen loves you more. That's true. Apparently, it's true. I love chat more, apparently. Damn. You got him. All right, let me see my account. Let me show you. What are all these uh, coins? I don't, I don't know. know. Calvin, what do the coins do on your Nintendo account? Wait, what? Isn't that for buying stuff? Don't you put them in and you get like credit with them? I guess I these are points or something. Well, whatever. I don't need these. Um, can you log? Do you Which just color are they? Interesting. They're silver and uh, gold. There's like thirty silver and one hundred twenty-five gold. Account settings. It's probably like one dollar off your next purchase. Probably yeah. Uh, do you, what do you need? Uh, do you need me to like link another account to you or what? Yeah. What are, we, what are we doing? I don't know. Like, I... Okay, just I'm trying to figure out. I don't need email. I just need a redeeming code or something. Gold is for discounts, and silver is for. Uh, you said it's a family rewards. group? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it's above 25. That's what I figured. Oh, I didn't realize they added them in there. Hey, there's some. J fucking Josh calling himself Sama. <laughs> His fucking, he's got a second account on here named uh, Aether Sama. Uh, uh, so, how do I add you? Can, can I add some? This is what happens when you get involved in Animal here, Crossing chat. Thing. Okay. Do your thing, I'm looking through. Alright. <laughs> I'm stealing this. That's fine. Have for, fun. For two minutes, maybe. Maybe longer, who knows? He might need it for reference later. I know, I'm gonna bring it back to you. I know, I'm just letting you know. <laughs> well, goodbye, Ellen. All right. Everyone say goodbye. Everyone say goodbye to Ellen. How much for an Animal Crossing commission? Uh, Animal Crossing is a deep rabbit hole? Yes, it is. Uh, I, it would depend on what you were looking for, because, you know, 
Uh, oh, in the style of a Pokemon team? Oh, it depends on how many people you want on there. And what size you want. Yeah, it all it really all depends on a lot. It, it's like, it really depends on how many characters and how, the size of it. Uh, that's usually what the causes the price point to go up and down. Yeah, so let me, I'll give like an example. Let me find. Uh, here we go. Okay. So whenever you're done with that, we'll uh, put in this. Yeah, in the style of a Pokemon team. Okay. Also. Mm hmm. I know there's a menacing also on the screen. Okay. When can I come by and buy that? You can come by any time. Although I don't know when's your next day off. Uh, Saturday. Okay. So Saturday is good. What? Uh, who's asking? The Calvin. He wants to come get that Death Stranding piece. Oh, nice. <laughs> Ash says, no, give me free art. I'll pay you an exposure. <laughs> Ash, no. How could you? How could you be so evil? He says he'll be by Saturday at 8. 8 a.m.? <laughs> Can only hope. No, p.m. Okay, p.m., cool. <laughs> that concern at the a.m. A.m.? <laughs> it's a Saturday, <laughs> and I'll have worked, uh, that'll be my eighth day in a row of working, so mm -hmm. I would like, I'd like to sleep in. Oh, you want to be live on stream? All right, that's fine. You can kick it with us. Yeah. Fuck it. Uh, then we could uh, we could actually have it hooked up so that it would be live on both channels, right? I mean, yeah, if you just turned it on something, you just have to host it or whatever. Yeah, I'm fine with that. You just get it on your phone and host it. Yeah, yeah. If that's how that works, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know. You'll mod the stream while you're on stream? I love it. Oh my god! <laughs> no, see, I really need this art because my mom's cousin has finger cancer and wanted your art as her final wish before she passes. Holy shit. <laughs> that reminds me of the story with the kids! With the cancer at the mall, remember? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. There was this lady who kept coming around the mall trying to scam everyone to give her free money, and so she would, like, have her kids in, like, you know, look like they were sick or whatever and had a sign with them that was like, uh, cause the one we got them on was, was, uh, the sign is like, I have throat cancer and I need money for surgery. I it was like, I can't speak. I have throat cancer and I need money for surgery. I have no insurance and whatever, you know, something like that. And so it was two kids, uh, you know, and they, they had the sign, um, and John look, like reads it. And then he goes, Okay, so which one of it, which one of you is the one who can't talk? And this kid just goes, "Me, I can't talk." <laughs> and he's like, "That's what I thought." All right, you need to get out of here. And then he called security because that was like the third time she had been uh, like kicked out of the mall. You know, that she was like temp banned or whatever. Yeah, yeah. For several months and just come back. Yeah, just like, which one of y'all is the one that can't speak? Oh, that's me. Oh, that's me. <laughs> yeah, just like. He's like, that's what I thought. All right. Got him. Yeah, yeah, get out. Got him. Yeah. X Saber got him. John has, like, the sickest, like, he can hit people with the sickest shit. No, I love when he told me, he's like, um, there was, like, some sort of Jesus, there was a bunch of Jesus people roaming the mall for, like, Jesus Con or something. Oh, yeah, 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 I remember and, this. And this guy comes in, and he's, like, an African guy, and so he's, like, telling him, you know, and he's, like, this is relevant, and he's telling him, you know, about Jesus or whatever, and he's, like, He's like, hey, man, um, I'm Muslim. <laughs> and then the guy just goes, he's like, you can't be, Mu he's like, you can't be Muslim. You're white. <laughs> like that, like the African guy's like telling him this. <laughs> I just thought that was funny. He's like, hey, man, that's fucked up. Yeah, I was like, well, what? Well, they're like, can't you imagine if someone was just like that? Like, well, you can't be into Christianity or African. You should be into voodoo or some shit. Yeah, like, you yeah. Know? Like, how ridiculous. That, yeah, it's just like, you can't, be, you can't be Muslim. You're white. It's like, what? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Racist. What a wild world we live in sometimes, Chad. R O F M 
mall and tent van. Oh, we're at we're at the uh, Vista Ridge Mall. Uh, not a great place. <laughs> yeah, me and me and John, our other friend, who's he's the he's the guy in this picture. That's the emote. We worked at a Brookstone at the Vista Ridge Mall. It's one of the most in Louisville, uh, Texas. Yeah, it's one of the most. Uh, it was bad. Ghetto trash malls. I, I couldn't. Oh know yeah, that. it is the Music City Mall now. Yeah, with, with two giant things of the Ten Commandments. There yes, now. I remember this. Yes, yes. Where are we going? You're starting to get out of frame. I'm wondering oh, where sorry. I need to point. I just need to know where I need to point the camera. Uh, everywhere. Okay, I got it. Yeah, it's the Music City Mall now, with the giant stone tablets of the Ten Commandments. We do need a thousand cameras. If you would like to donate one thousand cameras for a free commission, <laughs> it's in Louisville, Louisville, Texas. Yeah, it was formerly Vista Ridge Mall. Now it's the Music City Mall. There's a Music City Mall in, uh, I think Odessa. That's the same owner, mm. and he has giant things of the Ten Commandments there also. Texas, so. we're all about the Christianity. Yeah. Well, because of the message of peace it brings. That's what he said in the press release. Sorry, uh, sure, yeah, whatever, man. <laughs> yeah, that mall was like, oh, man. I don't know how that mall is now, but it was going downhill when we were working there. So, that, like, legitimately, me and John watched through all of Rosa Versailles on the job in, like, just a couple weeks. That's, like, 40 episodes long. So we would watch anime all the time. There was so much free time... John read through all of Berserk yeah. in like two weeks. Did you get it to work, honey? No, because I think in order for me to be added on, Josh has to do it. Oh. Because me, he's admin slash parent. Let me, uh, he, of course he's the parent. Let me just text him. I think he has your number. If not, I can give it to him. I don't think he does. Some Wonderland of America shit. Where is that mall at? Oh, that's in San Antonio. I, that's okay. I know it should be South Texas somewhere, yeah, because no, they're from Texas also. Yeah, no, that. That's, that's the San Antonio mall. Mm -hmm, okay. It's dead. Okay. It's dead. It's dead. It is a dead mall. I yeah, no, ours was there. terrible. Yeah, there was mall walkers and homeless people. San Antonio. Okay. Yeah, I went there once. I went there for a con. Ah. Yeah, it mm. was. Weird, one of the stores was hosting a like a little mini con or something, so everybody mm -hmm. was dressed up and so Jess and I went and it was like half the store was dead and we just went to a craft store and we got Pro Beats. Nice. They used to have a con like that at the Richardson Square Mall in Garland. Where that was I think that was IkiCon, it's like original place or something. It was inside I don't remember what it was. I think it was a Steinmart at one time in the mall, and then it went out of business, and so it was just an empty space that the mall would rent out for stuff. <laughs> Aether yeah, Sama. 69. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah right. Nice. 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 I should current put nice. Current status, nice. Current, set, uh, current mood is nice. Well, it's been 69 for a while. But the current mood is the 21st night, September. Don't oh, you, you know, I didn't change that to the current mood. Don't you remember, Alan? I changed Alan? the stream title to that. Huh? I'm changing that to the mood, though. You don't remember? That 21st night, September, love was chasing the clouds away. Da -da -party Dancing in September, party Don't make me shut you down. <laughs> How will you shut me down? Are you going to punch me? No. Okay. What are we going to do? San Japan Mini oh, Mini Con. Oh, that was Mini Mini Con? Was there in May. Okay, at the dead... No, at the mall there. Yeah. That's what he's saying. That's what they're saying. You're right. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 ah, no. What did no. I do? No. You'll pay. <laughs> what did I do? What am I paying for? You know what you did. No. I guess I'll have to wait until Josh messages you. Yeah, I gave him your number. Okay. I'll see that. Honey, don't be sad. You get to play eventually. Just give it some time. You gotta be patient. What is it? She needs like a Nintendo account or whatever? Yeah, she needs to be able to go on the internet. 
So I was trying to add her, but then I didn't know that Joshua was the uh, the parent. Oh, okay. So he's the only one who can uh, make changes to that account. I don't mean to sound rude. Is there a way, reason? Oh, it's paid, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I forgot they're all paid now. I'm used to like back in the day on PS3. Yeah, no, I know. That's so miserable that they all make you pay to get online now. Yeah. Ugh. Even just to do nothing. $20 a year? Ugh. Well, but I mean, the family plan makes it a lot better. Uh, so if the family plan's on there, it means it's so, even though if it's $20 a year, it's split between, you know, like up to five people, I think. Oh, okay. So, you know, it's free, and that's, that's not really that bad. Yeah, that's miserable compared to free. Yeah, I know, but it's still, like, could be worse. It could be, like, isn't Xbox, like, pay for internet there, They too? all are now. Okay. I'm pretty sure every one of them is now. Like, I feel like they're worse, though, like, in terms of... I know it used to be, like, really expensive for Xbox, because they also had, like, the silver and the gold plan or whatever. I yeah, don't I don't know what they're doing anyway. Oh, you get a Game Pass thing now with Xbox? Yeah, they used to just... It used to just be the only way you could get online or whatever was you needed that. I just remember that, like, most internet stuff through console just made no sense to me. So I never really bothered. Yeah, I don't know. I only want to play online if it's free. Yeah, same. Otherwise, why do I need to play online? You know? Yeah, I already pay the internet bill. I already, I already bought the game. Yeah, that's why I didn't like most um, MMOs. I know Gamefly. Like, is that like Game Pass? Like, is that like Gamefly? It's the digital one or something? Thinking of updating my Crunchyroll account to allow more streams so I could have a few of our peeps watch on the watch shit without ads. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I just steal all my anime still. <laughs> yeah. I, I usually try to find, uh, if it's a new one, obviously you have to get the uh, current, like, uh, you know, um, TV, whatever. But if it's not, oh my god, yo, you want to know what looks good on Blu-ray? Showa era anime. Oh yeah. That shit looks good. <laughs> <laughs> that shit looks good. You pay and you can download games and stream to your phone. If your internet is good. Oh, okay. Streaming is okay right now, but not perfect. Oh, okay. Yeah, now Crunchyroll is, like, fine. Again, I, I don't know. It's weird. Uh, Look. I just, like, stealing is just, like, part of the anime community to me. <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> it's like, I just, like, feel a compulsive need to steal it. Like, I buy the stuff I like, though. Don't get me wrong. I, I buy the stuff I like. It's just funny to hear you say that. <laughs> I need to steal, I chat. I need to steal. <laughs> look, look, if I'm not stealing, am I even really alive? It's true. Yes, uh, yes, we want to go see it. It's like 15 bucks for a ticket, though, so I was like, mm, I'll probably still pay, though. It's on the 24th. On a, uh, what day? Uh, let me see. Oh, we looked last night. Oh, month. it's, uh... It's Thursday. Thir this Thursday, right? Yeah. We won't be able to do the stream, but, you know, fuck it. Yeah, I mean, honestly, like, I love chat, but, like... I also love Akira. Yeah. So, and just because I've seen Akira double-digit numbers of times doesn't mean I've ever seen it in theaters. That's true. So. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. It's kind of going on. There we go. Yeah, a little bit there. I don't know if uh, Josh is asleep, though. That's actually... There we go. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, uh, uh, okay. Yeah, just go there instead of hunting it down. Oh, uh, see, the hunt is part of the fun for me. I'm like a T-Rex. I can't just have it given to me. Yeah, it's I don't, something about it. I don't know, because I started watching anime, like, forever ago, and I just remember, you know, like, you really have to work for it. I like working for it. It's fun. Yeah, my favorite uh, my favorite story. Paid twenty bucks to watch Made in Abyss movie yesterday, only to find it for free on my go to anime streaming site earlier today. Yeah, so like, oh, did you? But if you went and saw it in theaters, though, that makes sense. Like, because I don't mind going to pay at the theater. That's the only reason I pay. It was worth it because you like Made in the Abyss. You know, I've never actually seen that show. It's pretty I, good. I know it's good. So my uh, so my thing is. Um, I used to uh, steal movies a lot too when I was living in New York because, like, you know, I'm a poor art student. Mm -hmm. How am I going to uh, afford any of that? 
and like yeah i'll buy manga and things like that to support the actual like artists and stuff like that but like i don't know yeah if stealing is like kind of what you're supposed to do like <laughs> yeah it's weird it yeah it's weird because it is just it's just it like to me like uh, it's, it's it natural. was just such an ingrained part of anime like yeah. when i was becoming an anime fan because it was either you watched it on toonami and had to watch five thousand reruns and hope they'd add new episodes later or you'd steal it yeah. uh, or you could go buy sh- like all the shows that weren't on tv you would buy them. I would buy a good amount of them. Oh, yeah. But then once the internet was good enough, it was like, oh, shit. I don't have to pay for this? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Something about it. I don't know. Um, what else? Uh, oh, it was a 24-hour pay-to-watch from home. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, most of the showings are canceled. Yeah, this... I don't even know if there are tickets left for this showing, actually, Lakura. I should probably look before I decide to go. Um, but, yeah... I, I know, it's like, damn, that sucks that it was, like, just a watch thing for $20. That's so much. Yeah, it's like with the Mulan shit for, like, 30 bucks. They do not, uh... Hmm? <laughs> Calvin's giving me, like, a troll Twitch alert. <laughs> that says theft violates Article 5 of the Twitch Terms of Service. Oh, damn. <laughs> this is your first strike. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, when when only certain stuff was getting licensed. Yeah, now there's it's... still plenty of things that are not licensed. Yeah, that you cannot find. Like just now, they're gonna have Rose of Versailles on Blu-ray, and I'll buy it when it's out. But that doesn't mean I'm not gonna keep my digital copy that I've bootlegged because I don't want to carry stuff with me all the time. That's part of downloading it too. Yeah, and sometimes the the fan subtitles are way better. Yeah. The fan subtitles generally are way better than most actual subtitles I've ever seen from a actual release. I'm just gonna put that out there. Yeah. Made in Abyss was definitely uh, more worth it than Mulan, and you pirated Mulan. Yeah, nice. Let me zoom out since you're gonna start like painting it away. Yeah, because that's a big part of it for me, is like, um... Actually, you should tell them the, about the laser discs. What about them? Oh, like the thing that you saw at the convention. I don't think they've heard that story. Oh, I don't know. I don't think it was relevant to pirating, though. Kind of is. Well, I don't think it is. Because well, it talked about how you used to get them. Oh, well, that's true. When they were talking about, yeah, you had to get a, a bootleg of a bootleg on VHS. Yeah, yeah. And there's no subtitles on it, and yeah. it comes with just like a kind of like a loose summary of what's happening. Yes. That was so crazy when you were talking about that. That sounds like a base. What do we got here? Uh, for more recent things, Crunchyroll Funny and Sentai are doing better on getting things out there data. Yeah, Sentai Films Works is good. Uh, Netflix. Oh. I don't know what Oto is. O-T-O-H? What is that? Mm-mm, no clue. Uh, one true... Overhill? I don't know. Oh, just on the other hand. Okay, okay, okay. Just the actual... Because it was in all caps, so I thought it was like a, like a corporation or something. I'm like, who is... Who's Oto? Yeah, no, it was at a... Um, Convention. Acon. Yeah, it was at a Acon one year, and they were watching... They were going through Nadia, Secret of Blue Water, on the Laserdisc version, because there's a guy who always brings his Laserdisc uh, player... And plays old anime and they had some like anime historians like really like much older fans from back in the day and they were talking about like they'd tell you about uh they were talking about the show itself uh what was happening in the world where the show was set because it was set in the because it's based on the jules verne story Twenty Thousand leagues under the sea um things like that they'd tell you about yeah what was happening in anime at the time the show was made uh, and then they tell you about like how you got anime back in the day. <clears throat> you just had to know a person who knew someone in like California or Hawaii, and could send you a bootleg VHS copy of a bootleg VHS. Yeah, and I think there was like a website too where you like had to buy stuff too. Or... Well, not back then. Not yeah, but I know you had one too. Oh yeah, no, no, that's that's much later. That's yeah. me in like high school where it's like on uh, anime uh, discountanimedvd.com. That's the one, yeah. The legendary website. That was like the one manga of bootlegging. 
Like, for <sighs> real. Rip Mon Manga. So. I remember where I was when that happened. Right. Oh, yeah, Dragon's Lair and Space Ace and stuff. Yeah, those, that's cool because those are arcade games that are on laser discs. And that's how you actually play the game. There's just a laser disc player mm. in the cabinet. Interesting. Yeah, so it was really cool, but it would tear the machines apart. Like, those machines would go out really fast because you're constantly, like, zooming around, accessing different parts of the disc. Oh. So it's, like, spinning much harder and stuff like that. So those players would go out pretty fast. Yeah, that vendor who was selling all the laser discs. Yeah, they were really cool. I talked with them. I bought a um, the last box set of Maison Koku off of them, which is very hard to find. I had never even seen it in person. Uh, I don't have the rest of the show, but the rest of the show is much cheaper <laughs> because the the back half of that, the DVDs were moved to online orders only, and this is when like online was barely a thing. Yeah, because like why would I? I and I just forgot, you know, because it's like. I'm, I'm buying these in person when I go to Suncoast, you know, to get points. Oh, so it's like, I have to remember to go to the Viz website now and stuff like that. And it was like terrible. Yeah, yeah like... Maison Kobe. Yeah, I'm a huge Rumiko Takahashi fan. She's my favorite manga artist. So, so yeah, I picked up the box eight from that vendor. And it's sealed too. And again, I don't need to unseal it because I can just download it. <laughs> like, it's like my copy of Shaq Fu. Why do I need to open it when I can just play the game? Like, I have a normal copy of it out of the box, and I can just download the rap CD. So I don't even need to open it. It's great. Come on. The Shaq Fu. What is this? Hold on. I just see this. Uh... Oh, I watched the end of DBZ when the Boo saga was just starting in the U.S. Oh, okay, and then no one believed you that Boo got revived. That's funny. What? No, you're full of shit, Timmy. <laughs> right. Don't know, right for real. <laughs> yeah, I like Laserdiscs because, uh, to me, like, one, uh, if you can actually watch them, the quality is really good. Two, just the box itself is, like, really pretty. Like, the art on them is usually very nice because they're, like, the size of a record yeah so it's really cool you have just this like big art it's not like a dvd where you just like slide it on a shelf you wouldn't do that i mean if you got one now now back then yeah you just have them like records you know in a flip in a, you know you flip them down by the top or whatever yeah, yeah um but those big box sets for anime you're not gonna do that you're gonna put that on a shelf somewhere that's really nice exactly big art yeah that big art energy you know Hell, some of them would be, like, worth framing just because they look so damn cool. Like, oh, the yeah. Bubblegum Crisis ones look really nice. They have great art. Oh, man, I kind of want that. That's something yeah. I actually want to have. Because Bubblegum Crisis is such a good anime. Mm -hmm. I actually was listening to that. Yeah, some of them are really sweet. I wanted the fucking Galaxy Express 3.9 uh, laser disc collection, like, of the whole show. Yeah, yeah. That would be fucking awesome. I personally, yeah, I would like the Bubblegum Crisis. I was actually listening to... Yeah, we watch a lot of old anime. Like I said, that's, that's the stuff I steal because usually it's not licensed. Going on a hurricane. Yeah. Yeah, like we wouldn't get Miami guns. Right, dude. You know how annoying, like, that shit is so expensive to buy uh, Miami guns if you don't want to fucking uh, get bootleg. the, like, if yeah. you don't want to uh, bootleg it. Yeah, like, uh, what are they, like Gunsmith Cats. Like, I had that bootleg, like, for the longest time, and then they had a Kickstarter for the Blu-rays, so I bought the Blu-rays, and now I have the Blu-rays at my house, and I don't, I still also don't need to bring them with me to watch it anywhere. Yeah, yeah. With someone who hasn't seen it. God, that's, that's super good. Yeah, we're all... We have a game for PC Engine? Oh, shit, I've never seen that in person. That's tight. I wanted to buy... There was a year, I think, I saw the Dirty Pair PC Engine. Oh, no, no, that game's not on PC Engine. That's on Famicom Disk System. The Dirty Pair Famicom Disk System game was at a con, but nice. I didn't have money to pick it up. So uh, The only PC Engine game I own is... Actually, is that a PC Engine game? I think it's the Arusei Atsura game, one of them. Just because I try to get... I, I would just buy up anything that had Rumiko on it. You found it randomly at Game Over? Is that a store or a con where you're at? Yeah, you can find some weird games and, like, import games in places you're not expecting them. Yeah. 
Yeah, I also have the Ranma fighting game for PlayStation, which is terribly made. Oh, and I have the Saber Marionette fighting game also. The special edition that comes with, like, chopstick holders and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Makes me think of that hentai game we found at uh, Half Price Books. Yes! The Game Over video game. Oh, it's in Austin. Okay. Oh, it's a franchise? I don't think we have one around here. Yeah, I would, I would probably know more about that. Yeah, I'm not sure. At least Ellen would know. She's a huge gamer. Yeah, I... Because I don't think that's what the Denton store is called. I don't believe it's called Game Over. Yeah, I just know that Ellen collects like uh, lots of like game systems. Oh, that's... they're the people who run Classic Game Fest in Austin. That's cool. That's a place I'd like to go. Oh, there's one in Arlington. Oh wait, Classic Arlington says there's a game. There's a game. Or what? do you mean? Do you mean the Game Fest or the game or the store? Because Classic Game Fest is something that Ellen and Sabrina were trying to go to, but it got canceled. Yeah, that was the one they were going to. Yeah, I remember that. I know there's a similar thing that was in Arlington that we went to that con because that was the con where like that guy bought the fucking working designs games i was gonna buy that was a uh, retro palooza retro palooza okay different one that's it yeah and the magic night rare that game that guy had was the same discard as mine so it was like what are the odds it's tragic i just need to get my girl hikaru like come on Oh, you guys were going to be guests at that con? Oh, man. You you own the game that crashed the industry in 83? What is that, E.T., right? <laughs> Do you have one of the ones that's dug up? I remember they were all on sale on the internet a while ago, right? I didn't get to buy one. You don't have one of those uh, underground copies? <laughs> underground. That's funny to say it that way. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder. I, I don't know how much those all went for. It's been a while. Let me see. Um, 30 games. What do we got here? Flash. Oh, you know what also has a good, uh, uh, good music soundtrack? What? A Dirty Pair movie. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's me? You have a Yars Revenge poster? Nice. Oh, dude. Howard Scott Warsaw sign? I don't remember who that is. I'm going to Google who that is. I'll probably recognize him once I see it. Probably somebody from... Whatever. Really bad with names. Oh, he's the developer. Or the game designer. Okay. That's cool. Oh, you made the game. Okay, okay. I recognize the name, but I didn't know the developer. I'm really bad with names of people usually. Unless it's like someone I just like... Like the back of my hand. Say it a million times. He was surprised to see it, and it was a retail poster. Yeah, that's that was probably pretty cool for him to see it again, I'll bet. I, when I was in community college, I was in a geology class with a guy who was a radio DJ. He met David Arquette uh, for an interview, and he had him sign his copy of SSX Tricky, since he voices Eddie. Nice. And he told him, he's like, dude, you're probably the only person in the world with an autographed copy of this. <laughs> Probably, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got the poster at an army surplus store? That's a weird place. I like that, though. Yeah, it always is so bizarre when you find these weird things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was why I like going to garage sales a lot. Like, garage sales are fun. You never know what you're going to find.
But yeah, like I said, as for video games, I just try to collect working designs games, and like that's very expensive. Yeah. So on the all the ones, all the good ones that I have, I bought in high school, and they were only high school expensive. Yeah. <laughs> and now they're like real people they're adult expensive now yeah i need uh my collecting stuff is uh kind of oh, dude, those are some good posters i i love missile command missile command is one of my favorite games ever oh man sorry you were gonna say oh i was just saying my collecting hobbies are mainly like you know um like uh books and uh cards i don't really collect mm. any games I got you. I'm a big fan of collecting like books, like manga, art books, mm -hmm. um, and cards. Just like, you know, magic cards, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, Pokemon cards. Oh, one of these? Dude! Oh, these things are cool. Yeah, with the Sega uh, playable thing. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen one of those in a long time. I've never seen one in person, but I, I do know this product exists. Long time since a long time. Yeah, right? Yeah, this is one of the crazier things they made back then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other uh, really expensive Sega product that I know of is there's like specifically one that is played on the TV on the backs of uh, airplane chairs. Hmm. That is very expensive. Yeah, they probably didn't know what it was, yeah. Yeah, no, the version I have, the one that I have now, has all the stickers and the registration card because I bought that shit like 15 years ago. <laughs> trying to find that now is like impossible. <laughs> I think the last best find I had for working designs was the Lunar 2 strategy guide at a half price books. And it was like super mint. It's got like it's perfect condition. Yeah. Although um, my favorite, my favorite half price books find is when I got Mega Man 1 and 2 with the box, all the inserts for like $8 each or some shit like that. I yeah. forgot. The price tags are still on it because I never took them off. But, yeah, because they were horrendously mispriced at half-price books. And, like, they, they were still, like, I think they were only, like, 40-something or something like They should have only been, like, 40 or 50, maybe. But, like, now they're worth much more than that. Like, it, they, they should not have been priced at, like, $8. <laughs> it was, like, ridiculous. Yeah, it's kind of like how, it, what's even though weirder, though, is in the opposite direction. Yeah. Those uh, Persona games, like Persona 2 uh is like super expensive now but you remember like mm -hmm. at a GameStop they were like in the fucking bargain bin because they couldn't give them away it was because they were reprinted yeah yeah because there was a, a reprint of some atlas games towards the end of the playstation one cycle and it was persona 2 um i think it's innocent sin specifically yeah um i don't know if that's like the only one you can get in america or whatnot but i believe that's the one and then um Rhapsody or whatever it's called, the musical RPG game. Oh yeah, it's like yeah. Rhapsody or Rhapsody or something like that. Yeah, those specifically were like reprinted. There's like a third party company that reprints games sometimes. Uh, like they reprinted this guy one also. That's why the price went down at one point. Mm -hmm. um, but there's no way to tell. I think if they're reprinted or not, I can't remember. Um, Oh, you sold some stuff there and they had no video games? Yeah, sometimes they don't have very many good video games. Or they're just really overpriced. Chibi Robo for 160 Which one is Chibi Robo? Because uh, I remember... Uh, what is it? Oh, this game with this guy? I didn't know this was an expensive game. Oh, I did not know that was an expensive game. Interesting. All the expensive GameCube games are always like a random to me. I remember, you remember you used to work at Toys R Us and had a big box of Earthbound with a strategy guide? Yeah, and you're trying to clear them out for 20? Yeah, exactly. Oh, this game came out really late. Yeah, most of the expensive games are games that came out late. They, they're, they have like much shorter print. But the, a lot of the Sega Saturn games are like that too. Because like they just... There was a point where it's just like... 
all these games came out and then, and then the console was just canceled, you know? Like, yeah. they just announced they weren't going to do anything with it anymore. Or they were super short print. Like, any working designs games, those are all super short printed. Even from back then. So. Doesn't help that they all have, like, multiple disc arts, too. Yeah. So it's like, I have to get, you know, I have to get Magic Knight Rare Earth, then I, <laughs> and I have to get three of them <laughs> to get all the disc art. Yeah, yeah. Or Arc the Lad, like I I know there's like three different memory card holders. Hmm. I don't remember how many different disc cards there are. Though. I forgot what all was interchangeable on that one. Alundra has, I believe, eight different disc cards. Shit. Yeah. Well, that was good. Whew. It's tiring. Right. What time is it? Uh, it's nine thirty-five right now. Okay. Well, yeah. Yeah, I love Sega Saturn games though. They're really fun. Something about that system is really fun. I need to get the thing to play bootlegs on it so that I can play the Sakura Wars translation that came out last year. Like, the game is fully translated. Nice. And you can play it. After all these years. Yeah, right? Because when I went to play it the first time, there was no good walkthrough. I had just thought it was a strategy game only, because that was all I knew. And so I was like, okay, I've played enough strategy games on, uh, you know, Super Nintendo. i played a lot of ones on Super Nintendo, even in Japanese. So I was like, if I just get a walkthrough, you know, I'll be able to play it, you know, or whatever. Plus, I love the art. That's, um, what is that guy's name? The artist? Like, man, I love his stuff. The guy from, uh, who did, oh, my goddess, right? Yeah. Yeah, it has a full translation. Let me see. I'll see if I can link it to you. Yeah, Fujishima. That's his name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love his art. He's, like, one of my favorite artists. This is the translation, or this this is the trailer for it, but I think it has a link in the description inside somewhere. Yeah. Oh, too streamlined for your liking. I I get what you're saying. Yeah, and I really do like the older stuff. Cause I really like the stuff for um yeah, like Oh My Goddess. At the beginning, uh, Sakura Wars, obviously, and um, the really early Tales stuff. Like, I love the box art on the original Tales of Fantasia. I like that one, too, because it's a Super Famicom game that's sideways. There's not as many of them that are sideways, if I remember right, on Super Famicom. Because that was more of a... They did that on ours, on Super Nintendo ones. Mm -hmm. Um... Virtual Fighter Portrait series? Uh, I know normal Virtual Fighter stuff. I know Virtual on Mars, but I don't think that's the... Yeah, let me see. I'll look that up real quick. I've never watched High School uh, uh, High Score Girl. How is that anime? I just know it's about playing like arcade games. Oh, it's these things? Oh, I remember these. I didn't know what they were back in the day, though. I've seen a couple of these on import websites. Oh, so what are these? Just like movies or something? A series of 11 Sega Sound just released. Each containing images. The final disc could only be obtained by mailing in the spine cards. Oh, yeah. These Japanese Sega Saturn games have shit where you gotta mail in the spine cards. Yeah. Dude, the one for... um. God, what is that game? Shining Force 3. That game was fucking expensive. The one that needs all of them to get? Hmm. Damn, like, even back when I was young, it was expensive. I don't know what it's worth now. Okay, so it has a lot of history stuff in it? Okay, I didn't actually know that. I just know that it's like a girl plays arcade games or something. That's all, because I just know what's in the picture.
Yeah, you'd be surprised. There's always something you don't know. Yeah, no, they have. Yeah, all, all of my games have spine cards with them too. Those, those are like I like those for some something about them. Something about having like the spine card and like the OB and all this other stuff on things. I just really like having like everything with my game. Mm -hmm. And I use and I don't throw those away either. So some of, even on some of the ones that were more like on um, some of those Japanese mangas I bought and stuff, yeah. they're just like tucked away somewhere. They're not thrown away. Oh, whoa, they made a Mortal Kombat cabinet with the US-like design? That's cool. Yeah, because they didn't get that game over there, right? Because it was too violent? I know now it doesn't get released over there because it's too violent. Which game? Mortal Kombat. Doesn't get released where? In Japan. Really? Like, they don't even try to censor it down huh. to get released. They just give up. That's so bizarre to hear that. I don't know why. I think it's just all the like insanely graphic violence, hmm. like stuff like that. I think I'm not sure, like the weird, all the fatalities. Yeah, yeah, I get that. It's just yeah. like it's weird because, like, you know, it's Japan. Yeah, yeah, I don't actually know. You'd be surprised the thing, and it always changes. Like recently, it's gotten a lot worse. That's why there's so many anime where half the screen is blacked out. Yeah, yeah. Hey man, look, this country was founded by a bunch of prudes who didn't want to pay money for tea. What do you expect? <laughs> He's talking about the, the, how violence is fine but sex is bad. Like, yeah. The U.S. cabinets? Oh yeah, those... Uh, with the bat tops? That's... Uh, the bat top sticks. Yeah. Yeah. I still have my X arcade stick that I bought forever ago. I don't know. I don't know if that website is still around actually. Cause I, I should have sent it back in when the trackball didn't work very well, but yeah. I was like, fuck, I want to keep playing games and the, <laughs> you know? And I was like, I guess I can deal with not playing missile command. Even though it's one of my favorite games ever. I was like, I just really want to play Galaga all day. <laughs> so I have a outrun cabinet that I was going to put it into over at my dad's house, but when we were going to start that project, he got laid off from his job because the company needed to close their best producing plant that made them all the money and then try to move it somewhere else, only for that to, I think, fail miserably and everyone who made those decisions to get fired. Um, but after they laid him off, he immediately got rehired as a contractor for like double what they were paying him. <laughs> yeah, but he had to fly to Springfield, Illinois like every week. So it was like, well, we can't start with this giant woodworking project, you know, and things like that. Because he's like flying in and out of Dallas and Springfield all the time. So it's still sitting there. I don't really know. I'm not that good with tools, so I don't know much about how to fix it up. Mostly just needs to get like new team molding and some of the stuff needs to be... They can, like, cut out and join back together with some new pieces, maybe. And awesome. it definitely needs a new side graphic. I still have the bezel and stuff, too, for the screen. Um, I think it needs a... Um, ah, I forgot what the sign at the top is that you put the light behind. I forgot what that's called. So. Yeah, exactly. No, I was trying to get to where I could beat the world record at Galaga. I beat it on my computer... Um, but then I never got farther to, like, try to do an official record run because I think Twin Galaxies was, like, shut down or something and they weren't taking anything. And I was like, fuck, and I have to go find a place to play, and you know, and record it or whatever because I don't because I don't think they'll – you can't play it on a ROM cabinet or whatever, I don't think, on MAME. I have no clue. Um, yeah, I can't remember. It was, like, forever. Yeah, the marquee. That's the one. That's the one. Um. Was this before or after Disney? This was way after Disney. So. Yeah, I would need the marquee for it. I don't have the marquee. Um, 
I think we still have the steering wheel and the um, the shifter, but they wouldn't go on the cabinet because we're not going to, you know, we're putting the, God, just the buttons and stuff there and the sticks there. Yeah. Although OutRun is a good game. I used to play that all the time on Sega, on Sega Genesis. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's her butt. Oh! The epic Shane laugh. Oh! Yeah. Fucking high out of his mind. Yeah, we had to drive. We drove all the way out to... Uh, where did we drive to to get that? Oh, damn. It's like six hours from here somewhere. Oh, I forgot that place. Wichita Falls, I think. Is that six hours from here? Wichita Falls? No. No, it can't be Wichita Falls then. Wichita Falls know. is like two hours. Yeah, no. There was somewhere we drove like six hours. To Lubbock? No, nah, maybe. I don't know where we drove to. We drove to the middle of fucking nowhere. And we got it out of somebody's garage who had a bunch of other arcade cabinets there. Nice. So, but it didn't have any parts or anything. It's just the empty cabinet with some of the extra, like, exterior parts. Because we were just going to, you know, fill it in anyway with a computer. Yeah. So it's still sitting there in the garage, but... Yeah, it, ha it has a control thing and everything for it. We weren't getting it to do, like, a, a refurb or a, you know, a re restoration. It was just to be the cabinet to hold the machine. Because I have a computer that I just run MAME on. It runs on a bootleg version of Windows XP called Windows XP Black Edition. <laughs> oh, man. And like every three months, it'll come up and it'll be like, you need a new password and secure and like a, a serial key or some shit. You just press the enter button and it goes right past that. It's really funny. Ah, oh, okay, you used to collect arcade stuff and then you found out that the apartment stairs were shit for getting full-size cabs up. Yeah, I could guess. Yeah. The only, uh, I would like to get one of those SNK cabinets, and the store at a mall around here is selling one. I just don't have the money to get it right now. Uh, I think theirs is a, shit, I think it's a two-cartridge one. Um... Yeah, the one at the um, the Denton Mall is selling it. Really? Yeah, because they bought it from the pizza restaurant that was there. Remember? Yes, I do. Yeah, they closed, and he was like, hey, I'll give you whatever for it. You know, so that way you don't have to do anything with it. And he's like, fine. Because he had always wanted to buy it from that guy. He had kept trying to buy it from him for years. I was talking with the store, uh, the guy who was running the store. I think it's a two cap. I think it's a two cartridge. I can't remember. But surprisingly, the arcade cartridges are, if I remember, are not very expensive. Now, if you want the home ones, the home console ones, those can be pricey. Yeah. I think those are the AES cartridges. Uh, it's been a long time. I used to collect video games a lot more in high school. So uh, I don't remember what they were wanting for it. I feel like it was like somewhere around a grand and, some, and change. I forgot, honestly. Um... I don't know. Uh, that mall's not too far away from here, but it's not a place we go to a lot. Yeah. We were out there, like, right before quarantine on a, like, video game run. Like, we were looking... Because there's about, like, four video game stores all out there. Exactly, yeah. The Neo Geo, the home cartridge ones are so expensive. The cartridges are usually, like, more than you pay for the system on a bunch of the good games. Uh, if you get those, you can get one that is a, uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. For like 1K, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I don't, again, I don't remember how much it was. I feel like it was that, but I, it might not even be, so. Like I said, I haven't seen it since before quarantine. So. Oh, I was saying, because you can get a console version that plays the arcade cartridges, if I remember correctly. There's just like a different one also. He's drawing this butt chat. Look at that butt right there. Matt is now a lewd artist. It's true. He was drawing one butt on stream. He's so lewd. 
Look at that. Look at that lewd ass. Fucking lewd motherfucker here. This lewd ass. Oh, ass. they need an adapter? Oh, okay, I didn't know that actually. It's been a long time. Since a long time. Yeah, because I really wanted to get one, like I said, back in high school. When I would have been able to afford it, actually. Because I just embezzled all my lunch money. That was how I bought all those Ronma DVDs. I do remember this, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's great. My mom would just be like, oh, man, you're just so good at saving up your allowance. <laughs> yes, yes, I am, Mom. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, you had the home system and some of the older games were cheap? Oh, okay. I know one of the other consoles that I always wanted was, I always wanted a Sega CDX. Those are pretty cool. Hmm. Um, that's a Genesis and a Sega CD in one, and it has a weird shape. It's like a, a, it's a rectangle, like Matt, it's a rectangle, and then at the bottom it has like a triangle. And you can actually use it as a portable CD player. Now it's way too huge, no one should do that. Um, but I have always wanted one. I've only seen one in real life, I think. Kept your copy of, base, of Super Baseball 2020, nice. Oh damn, I hope that's worth a lot of money now that it's actually 2020. I actually don't know how much that's... What that? I'm gonna go look that up. It's been a long time since I looked at some of these games. Also, chat. I I need to remove this. I, I, it's weird. Like I have some I have some DVDs favorited on eBay, and every time I just go to eBay, it brings up my favorites link, and it's really triggering. Oh, it's not. Oh, damn. Yeah, because every time I go to eBay, it brings me directly to this auction for the Arusiat Sura OVA box set, which is like expensive but i want it right <laughs> oh, man. oh it is i'm exhausted i mean i don't know you drew the very complicated pencil sketch and then you've drawn this amazing ink art so it makes sense it's like it's late it's like almost 10. yeah it's almost 10. Oof, that was loud mm -hmm. Kind of feels bad. I kind of wanted to finish this, but I think it's a complicated design. Yeah, I'll just probably to come back to it. Mm. Just break all my bones here, real quick. Just like mm -hmm. I'm on whatever ninja fight movie we watched last night. Yes, Ninja the Final Duel. Ninja the Final Duel. Yeah. Yeah. God. Yeah, I think I'm going to take it up, call it for tonight. I'm a little tired. Uh, oh, thanks. Ash says it looks good, and Awesome says it looks good, too. So. Yeah, I'm glad to hear it. We're gonna, I'm going to finish this off stream, probably. Uh, oh, that's cool. If you're working on something, don't worry about it. What is it? Uh, finish this off stream, just because uh, we don't know if we're going to be streaming on Thursday. It's kind of up in the air since if we're going to go see Akira or not. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, if, I don't, if I do finish this off stream, we're going to work on... Um, probably some more fantasy illustration work on Thursday and Friday. Mm. Uh, not Thursday and Friday. Thursday and Saturday. Uh, I do want to work on that large painting at some point. Uh, yeah, we'll see if we can't get that in here and set it up nice. Yeah, because one of the things too is the the I'm gonna need to spray paint some of the stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the background first off stream. Mm -hmm. Uh, spray paint because I can need to use spray paint for that um, yeah. and use the stencils and things like that then once I get that background done I'll be painting over top of it uh, on stream okay. um, but yeah there's like I want to basically try to get out a lot uh, a lot of original work out quickly um, this month for the rest of the month just because at the end of this month we're going to be uh, showcasing on the LexCon online. Yeah. Uh, so that con is a much more illustrative based convention, uh, which focuses more on original art rather than uh, you know fan art. So mm -hmm. also I'm going to be doing a lot of fan art for Inktober anyway. So might as well yeah. get all my you know originals out uh, while I can. Um. Yeah. I realize how old I'm getting. Man, I get tired <laughs> so easily these days. 
But yeah, no, I appreciate y'all for coming out. It was fun talking about video games and old shit like that. Um, yeah, we'll see you on Thursday, most likely. If not, we'll see you on Saturday. Maybe we'll do an extra stream if we don't do it on Thursday. Yeah, maybe. Are you? Could you stream Friday? Or? Yeah, I could stream Friday. Yeah, we'll see what happens because I would like to go see the movie. Yeah. Every time I watch that movie, I find something new in it because, like, you don't have to pay attention to the movie as much. Right. Like, it wasn't until, like, the fifth viewing, I noticed the giant dick spray painted on the wall that he crashes the motorcycle into. Yeah. Because it's only there real fast. I'm just like, oh shit, there's a giant dick. <laughs> this is hilarious. Oh my god, a dick. <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> yeah, that was around like the fifth or sixth viewing. Because <laughs> it's just there. It's just graffiti. It's just part of the graffiti. And yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah, I'm going to finish this off stream. Uh, we'll try to do a few more original pieces this week. Mm -hmm. And then um, uh, next week, too, because um, Ink um, Inktober starts on uh, Thursday next week, if I remember correctly. I'll check for you real quick. Uh, yeah, you're right. Thursday yeah. is the first day. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to... Because this Inktober is actually going to be done entirely on stream. You painted dick butt? Nice. Oh, we actually both... Uh, did so when we were at a con in California, there was someone walking around, and they were they, this is their business card too, actually. So, so they were like, "Hey, do you know who Dick Butt is?" They were going to every booth, and they so they would pay five dollars for a picture of Dick Butt. They had a collection of like thousands of pictures of Dick Butt. It was fucking hilarious. Yeah. So in the back, they're the I don't know if I can get it to look good on stream here. But they're like the dick butt guys. This is great. So, yeah. So we just drew like whole... I, even I got paid. Like, it was great. Yeah. Yeah. Five bucks for drawing a picture of dick butt that I made look like Naruto. You did, yeah. And you drew the Hayakawa Ken cowboy dick butt. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, that was fucking hilarious. Because, like, I heard them next to us. Because we had the longest running joke about dick butt also. Yeah. I got a picture of dick butt. $20. $20. <laughs> Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars for this picture of dick butt. Yeah, that was fucking amazing. I hope we can go back to that con because even though like the money wasn't the best, the atmosphere was amazing. Oh yeah, I enjoyed that con. Yeah, but... that was a lot of fun. But um. All right, we're gonna head out. Yep, we're gonna pass out. Thanks for hanging out with us, everyone. Thanks for coming out. Yep. Storm stream. Yep. Uh, I'll post up the finished version of this on Patreon. Yeah. Uh, you'll get to see the full thing. Uh, scanned in. All the process bit pictures and stuff like that, mm -hmm. as well as uh, we'll probably do a speed run. Yeah. Oh uh, no, I wasn't oh, recording yeah. this. I should have been recording this because this one turns out really good. Yeah, we'll, we'll do stuff and things. But yeah, yeah, maybe I'll do one when you're painting it. Yeah, sounds we good. We can use it for something. Yeah, do like a little maybe a technique thing. Yeah, actually, yeah, we can make it a tutorial. Yeah, we'll do a tutorial and put it up on the OnlyFans. We have a lot of tutorials up on our OnlyFans. We have one tutorial. On OnlyFans. A lot. No, you get them on Patreon also. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but you should yeah. go to our OnlyFans. <laughs> right? All right, we'll catch y'all later. Thanks for coming out. We're going to roll the end credits. We'll watch a Space Wizard fight the Queen of Space.